Hey what's up, today I will show you how to generate image descriptions using AI and Python. This task is also known as image captioning. I will use Google's current one of the best models, Gemini Flash for this task and we can easily access this model for free via Gemini API. To use this API, you can create an account in aistudio.google.com and generate your API key. Once you get your API key, it can be used in this Python code to access the Gemini Flash model. As you can see, I have my Colab notebook ready. And if I click on this key icon, you can see that I have my Google API key. This is the one that I will use to access the Gemini models. Similarly, you can create your own API key and store it securely like this. Now let's run the code. This function will be used to show the output in a markdown format. Over here, you can specify your API key like this. Over here, I'm specifying the model that is Gemini 1.5 flash. And this model can be used for performing several tasks related to language or image. And this model is multimodal in nature. That means you can perform both image related as well as text related task and in this video we are focusing using images as input to this model and getting text as output from this model now let's load an image so as you can see this is an image of a girl working in a cafe or restaurant on her laptop we will pass this image to the Gemini flash model with the help of the API like this. Let's run the cell. Okay, so we have received our output, right? And it is free of cost. There are certain rate limits with respect to this API, but if you stay within those rate limits, you can use it for free as long as you want. Now let's display the output. So here you can see we have a pretty detailed uh, description of the image. You can pause the video and read this description and also compare it with the image. Now let's try out some other image. So I will use this other image now. Okay, so in this image we have uh, three people sitting outside, uh, maybe having some conversation. There is a laptop and one of them is holding a smartphone right now let's see how our model interprets this image so we will again run this cell and within few seconds it will get the output that's it and now we can display the output so you can see it is pretty accurate right it is able to spot the cell phone as well as the laptop so you can see it's a pretty powerful model and we can use this for variety of use cases. We can also use it for uh, converting images into, you know, descriptions like this and that can be used as prompts and it can be used with stable diffusion models in some sort of a pipeline. So I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.